And yeah, welcome back. This is Kotal for another War Rights event. Uh, it's Friday. Hope you all had a good week. I have not. I hope you have a good weekend at least. And to start out though, for this weekend, we've got a Southern Aggression. It is a Hatches Attack right now. 215 on the server pop. 104 on the defending CSA versus 111 on the attacking Union. And let us take a look at that attacking Union team. There is no Artie. These men must win with guns alone. And they have to win that match. The NYV, led by Lieutenant Parker. 19th Indiana, led by Captain Joker. The 4th West Virginia, led by Colonel Lightburn. The 9th Corps, led by Paradox. The 79th NYH, led by Ricks. The MWB, led by Captain Willie Stone. And the 42nd PA, led by Captain Hood. And I believe the first Cherokee rifles are in here as well, but I don't see them. But I believe they're in here. If I'm missing anybody, I do apologize, but let's take a look at that CSA team. And starting out, we have the Missouri State Guard led by Lieutenant Viking. Get on the line and play with your girl. We've got 8th Alabama led by Sergeant My Name Ryder. Then we've got PB led by Colonel Bocephus. The HL, led by Cadet uh, McCrave, who is shadowing. Uh, who is this here? Sergeant Major Wilkes. Oh, Sergeant Major with a cadet. That is a dangerous combination. Let's see. We've got AB, 7th Tennessee. Then we've got KB, led by Colonel Knight. The 1st VA, led by Sergeant Connor. And I believe that is everybody. If again, if I missed you, I do apologize. But we are live. We will see how the CSA sets up their defense and how the Union wants to do their attack. The TSA is every Friday at um, 8 p.m. Eastern. So if you're looking for an event at that time frame, I highly recommend it. I believe uh, the event organizer is Colonel Knight. There is a, a link in the description to that event. I'm not sure if they're still accepting new members. They might be. Um, but talk to Colonel Knight uh, to find out if it's an event you might be interested in. Um, if you see any units here that you're like, man, these guys look like they know what they're doing here. And it's not like Kotel, man. They got they got their shit together. And you want to join up? Do it. Whether you're a new player, veteran player, don't matter. Join up. And I have links in the description to these guys, uh, to their various units. So uh, just drop them a line, check them out, see how what you got to do to enlist. And if you are, this came onto your feet out of nowhere got some scouts out here from WS. I missed WS. I knew I missed somebody. I do apologize, WS. They're doing good scouting on this left side here. But uh, the game is currently $30 on Steam. So uh, if it looks fun, go ahead and pick it up. It's also on sale quite often. So, uh, you know, you can always just wish list it and wait for it to hit, you know, 10 to 15 bucks US. All right. Let's see. We do have some forward action here. So I'm Major Wilkes is doing some wide scouting. And MWB is doing some shooting over here. Fire down the snake rail. Not at Wilkes. That's the and it's consisting of the NYV with Parker and Willie Stone from the MWB. Let's see how this attack is going. He has some opposition though. Oh, oh look at this line here. 8th Alabama, 1st VA, PB. Oh, this is going to be a tough line to beat here. And Parker cuts to the right. What, meanwhile, there is another element here. Ricks is kind of looking here. And there's a 9th Corps in the center. They haven't moved out yet. And a, another fist from the Union is on this far right, uh, right side. You've got Lightburn, you got 19th Indiana, and you got 42nd all heading this way. But they were opposed as well here. By it looks like HL and MSG. So we will see where the attack begins here. We've got some forward movement. Parker has rotated his guys out to these rocks along with MWB. I don't think they have quite enough to charge this position, but they might be trying to fix it here while another main attack happens on the right side. Going back on the line. And we do have initial reaction here. WS is kind of that tripwire for us as HL moves out. So good little skirmish action by. Yeah, 
Let's see, is Ninth Corps moving up? Ninth Corps is moving up as well, but they're facing off against no the AB here. So far, no major action yet. Yeah, it's G in the center here. Oh, we got some Union to the right to the east. You guys have shots to the east? It is a very spread out fight initially by the Union team. I think they might be trying to probe some weaknesses here. And let's see, Ninth Corps is moving up, but they kind of fall back a little bit. Might be a tough map to cover, guys, so I'll do my best. Fuck, I'm dead. Find a good spot. Uh, volley coming in against MSG, but not too much damage to it. Uh, it. Looks like we got some redeployment now. Let's see, West Virginia here and 19th Indiana are rotating out to the left flank. CSA right here. As Parker tries to screen their movements a little bit here from this rock position. 38 minutes remaining and really not much damage yet. There hasn't been a major Union attack yet. I think they're trying to feel a way through it. But the CSA has done a really good job of kind of mirroring it. Starting to mess up a decent amount of combat power over here. Independent fire, boys. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. But the CSA right flank has not given them any openings yet. And has really contained the situation. Shot there. Five years, sorry, wait. Looks like Knight is going to redeploy to the left side. I think he's expecting an attack on the left here. It looks like HL and MSG and WS have it under control at the moment. On the line, boys. Yeah, you got your load. Get him. And in fact, is this 42nd pulling off? Yeah, 42nd is pulling back a little bit. This is a very static battle for a uh, TSA event. Interesting. Just to hear him. I can hear him. I'll let you know. You guys cut the top of the grass. That cat's in there. Yeah. It's been happening. Who's pulling up here? Okay, Sergeant Connor, Connor is Connor pushing forward. This is a little dangerous here. There's a lot of fire coming from those sharps. You also got Parker on your left. Uh, he got away with it, though. Colonel Knight. Powerful volley coming in from KB. Yep, 
so far, no entrance in for the Union. Uh, they're starting to make a little bit of a dent on casualties, but they are behind on tickets, and I don't think it's enough yet. Not at this pace. Doing a little pump volleys. Here comes Paradox with Ninth Core. To try to use up the corn, maybe to try to sneak up on the HL here. I'll be honest, this feels like a uh, HRE event. You don't know sprinting and no Bayos until 30. <laughs> I don't think I've seen a bayonet fight yet, which is which is fine. It's not a bad thing. It's just very unusual for a TSA. Yeah, and that's kind of poked the bear there a little bit. Time for to attack from that corner. Yeah, if they come with me, we can take it. Absolutely. All right, Raj. All right. Looks like Parker's making some plans here. You had your stopwatch out. What are you, rich? They got free and easy shots. You have a strange stopwatch. You killed him. Uh, looks like we got some movement now. Who is this coming up? All right, who just rotated to the center? I think he's looking for a seam here. Oh, he oh, just massacred that poor man on the AB. Here comes Joke with a 19th Indiana moving up. Uh, I mean, Mizuki, I saw a hot dog kill today and I thought of you. Here we go, here we go. Oh, here we go. You're all skirmishing. You're all skirmishing. We killed him. Right side, right side. I've been shot. Ooh, 19th though took a heavy volley though from looks like AB. Oh, but who's this coming up now? No. Captain Hood's looking for an angle, but looks like HL. And WS and MSG were able to really get a twist on them. And there is no hole yet. Who is this? Okay, Parker looks like he moved into the center on this corner here. Opposite KB. Oh, but here comes a charge. First VA came out to try to catch NYV. <laughs> we'll see how the fight goes. But this does uh, potentially open up. NYV is held. Gets that charge by the first VA. Still ahead on tickets, but that was a costly charge there. Hood is now on this side as well. Now here comes Paradox. He's going to try to hit KB in the flank here. Let's see if he can do it. Gonna try to get over the fence, and I think they did it. I think they've gotten behind the KB. 
And Hood is coming up now as well. He can press this. He might take this corner and wipe out the KB. A nice combined attack by the 42nd and the 9th Corps. L Ricks was in the fight as well, and here comes Joker. They have a really good chance now to take this corner here if they push as a United Element, but they got to move quick before HL and MSG and AB figure out that something's up here. The time is ticking. You don't have too much time to make this decision. And indeed, here comes Hood. Trying to get him to go. That window is closing. It's got to go in now. And here comes the 42nd. PV trying to hold him with 8th Alabama. And there you can hear the panic in their voice. All right, where's the rest of the Union? Okay, here they come. Here comes MWB moving up as well. And the Union has managed to take this corner here. And in fact, there's still a fight over here. Ninth Corps is doing a blocking operation against the a AB. Nice move by Paradox here, kind of bottling up these forces here. And you still have elements down here from the WS and MSG that are not committed to the main fight. Although, to be honest with you, I believe a guard as well, because me. Um, I trust that HL and AB can get the job done. So I'm not exact. I'm not really opposed to maintaining a force down there. But with some patient fighting, the Union has achieved some pretty key terrain. But unless they start moving forward here, the CSA is going to reconsolidate and push them out. We will see what will happen here. And in fact, they gave a lot of time. Now here comes HL is moving up. On the line, boys. One air check, one air check. Moving over there to southwest, man. We'll see if yep. the Union has enough time to get into a better covered position on these rocks here and try to hold it. Seven minutes, CSA's only battle ready. The Union's gonna have to start doing some damage here. Yep. Ooh, a nice flank maneuver. Who is this? Bye, Mr. Joker has gotten the uh, CSA element there in a bit of a box. A nice little maneuver by him. And I love this. Paradox is still holding down the center, still delaying the CSA and guarding that flank. Great move there by Paradox, operating independently here. And a very strong line now with the whole Union team has moved forward into a more defensible position. Although I think the CSA is looking for a flank here. Who's this over on this side? It is PB, and it is the first VA, and 8th Alabama's with them. They might be trying to get on the flank of the Union here. Oh, they're putting in some pretty heavy volleys into them. The Union's going to have to start orienting some forces to deal with this threat here. There we go. Now hit engaged. But the CSA is doing a great job of bottling up, and frankly, I don't think these rocks are sufficient cover. I think they need to push in a little deeper. This is not really good defensible terrain. It's okay, but they took a lot of time on that fence without moving out, and the CSA was able to reorganize, and they are making the Union pay for that delay after their initial success. And here you got 19th Indiana's now falling back. Oh, but what's this over here? Fourth West Virginia guarding the flank. Good job there by Lightburn and his folks. Parker tip the spear out front. So yeah, I, I, I'll be honest with you, I liked that Union attack, it was patient, and they were finally able to juke him, but then it was one of those things where 
you know, once they had it, they did react. And even when they did react, you know, this is this is too shallow. If you're looking to get into a really strong position, you know, maybe, uh, I don't know if this is point. That might be why they avoided those rocks there. But um, down here seems much better. I'm kind of surprised they didn't move to those rocks over there. But we will see. has taken a lot of casualties in this position. It's a lot of open ground, a lot of uh, not, not the great amount of cover here. And they have now lost their flank guard. Ninth Corps has had to pull back. And now their flank is exposed. CSA is now can come around on this side if they want to. AB is kind of poking at them. And we got MSG also poking at them, so you got that force there. And the Union is just getting more and more pushed into a box here. These are decent rocks, and you can kind of see how uh, the elements on here are surviving a lot longer than the units that were further back. They've all had to be pushed back to the road. Well, 22 minutes, almost full engaged. See how these delays are now starting to stack up here. I think the CSA has been very disciplined and is really uh, doing a great job of containing this Union attack here. The only time the Union had major success so far is when they surprised the CSA on a single flank by a rapid redeployment. One's able to cut loose. Here's 8th Alabama coming to do a punch volley. And good notice here from Mr. Ryder. Holding on these rocks and trying to shoot it out with them. I think that's the right call. Yeah, you can see how far back the Union has been steadily pushed and pushed and pushed. And oh, in fact, we got a raiding party out here. WS here interrupting the lock and catching some very nice tickets out here. Fourth West Virginia did try to delay them a little bit. So we'll try to, you know, disrupt them a little bit. But, um. Uh, and CSA is starting to move up now, more and more. I mean, you're giving up to them. I mean, look at your casualties as well, to be honest with you. The uh, fence is not really ideal cover, to be honest with you. And the CSA is squeezing and squeezing the union here. And in fact, I don't think this position is even sustainable. Nice rotation out here. Who is this? By the PB and Bocephus getting a great angle on the Union. As they're distracted, and you can see. Pull back. The bridge is closed. The bridge is out. And the CSA controls the field. I do, I do agree with pulling out, though. I, I do agree with the decision by the commander. Hey, if it's not working, don't waste troops. So that's a good good job by that commander. So, you know, you know me saying, oh, pulling out, kind of being a little bit, you know, facetious in it. Don't, no, no. These two guys made the right call getting their men out of there. There's no point wasting tickets on something that's not sustainable. Pull back, reorganize, come up with another angle, and off you go. And, in fact, here, who is this? So we've got two elements here. Oh, it's all one big element, it's Hood. Hood is now going to try to sneak in and take this far side guarded by WS. But I think uh, Wilkes is wise to his decision here. And he's going to redeploy as well. Along well, Viking hasn't moved up yet. So we'll see if Wilkes and the WS can hold 42nd.
Fred will be happy to take those five tickets. And it is going to be a race. Oh, did Wilk stop? Oh, Wilk stopped at the top of the hill, but Viking's still going down. We'll see if uh, Hood can get across. I knew there was an opening in this fence. I was like, I knew there's an opening down here. You don't have to hop over the fence. You can come right down here. In fact, you can jump down right here and be a little bit unobserved and come right up. Union now at taking losses. But the uh, 42nd has a foothold here on these rocks. We'll see if they can hold them. Here comes HL. Break it low, let's go. Let's go. Break it low, let's go. Come on, Hamptons, let's go. Go, 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 go. On the line, boys. On the line, boys. On the line, on the line. We got three reinforcements. All right, let's see who's next here. Who's coming up? Fourth West Virginia is coming up to aid Hood. In the meantime, the uh, rest of the Union is still fighting over on this side of the field here. Doing some long distance firing. It's going to be tough for them to punch through. We'll see. 18 minutes. Oh, here we go. We got a charge from HL trying to charge out the 40 second. And it looks like the 40 second has the better of that. Oh, Snapperkins, get out of there. Oh, they got Snapperkins. Still got Viking on top of the hill here. 40 seconds been hit pretty hard. It's a dead planet. A nasty play. Get the fuck back here, Rab. Who the fuck are you? From a level on three. Oh, but here comes Knights. That was a brave man there. He didn't like that he took his uh, drink, man, that Yingling. He wanted it. So 42nd is still holding on on this side over here. You have KB over here, but they still don't have too much force. I don't know if they can take out 42nd yet. Oh, but here comes an attack. Ninth Corps taking the side, and in comes the Cav, NYB, slamming into the 8th Alabama. As my computer does not like the smoke effects. NYB just got hit hard by a volley from HL. It was fresh from their fight with uh, Mr. Hood and his folks. So now the uh, CSA is almost at taking losses, 15-30. Not great, not terrible, but here comes KB. They've decided to disengage from Hood at the bottom of the hill and focus on this element up here. That volley, holy shit, slammed into ninth core. What was left is six New York. All right, do we have some movement over here? Yep, Hood has ordered an attack forward, I believe. Yeah, he has, along with uh, West Virginia, with some very good tickets out here. 
Catching WS here, and that will put the CSA on to breaking. Are you fucking stupid? And it's 19th Indiana's with him. Oh, who's coming in now? Let's see, MSG, Viking taking a look, but I don't think he's charged again yet. Wilkes over there as well. So now, t I want to say two breaches, one breach and one good position here. The Union is still holding on to this corner here as best they can. They are taking a lot of fire. I think the main effort is going to have to come from this side, to be honest with you. Another tough volley from KB. You saw those flags go down. Man, these volleys are hurting them pretty bad. Now East Alabama's coming up. They are really putting the squeeze on this element here. Another tough volley. The problem is they're too concentrated. And look at these interlocking fields of fire against this position here. It's not a bad position, but it, it's you, you don't have enough to hold it. Rips is trying to get his boys up on the opposite side of this rock here. Maybe trying to draw out the HL, maybe? Trying to bring him into the 79th uh, guns? So it is a 12-man imbalance right now, which is it. Oh! Not a super big imbalance, but it's there. Hey, there's a unit over on the left over there. I'll bring myself over there, though. There's still 10 on side. Breaking. TSA still plenty of tickets left. And you can see the Union has lost their foothold. They've had to fall back once more under that withering fire that was coming in. KB will hit back the 19th Indiana, but we got a wide flanking maneuver here. What is trying to get on to the backfield, but his line is really sprung out. Ninth Corps. Moving into the center, but ah, oh, okay, let's see here. He's sort of the backside, catching WS. Get some nice tickets here. Get you guys coming from spawn. Let's see, where is this Ninth Corps going? Okay, 
Again, nice position on the rocks here by 9th Corps. And in a great position to outflank the first VA. Oh, but Connor's on the move. He's going to try to charge him out. Right here, yep, right, right, here, right, here right here, right here, right here. Watch for friendly, watch for friendly, watch for friendly. AB coming in as well. Was able to deal with that ninth core issue, but it's starting to take a lot of casualties, and you got a major fist built in here with Parker along with several other units. You still got 19th Indiana down here, and then we still got Hood way in the backfield over over here, but it looks like they've lost a good amount of men now at this point. They're getting close to getting the uh, CSA on breaking. They just need to get some more of those engagements like you just saw with Ninth Corps. And what you see here is what Hood is doing with his guys. I think Abraham Lincoln got lost. We got in the southeast with the flag moving. Second. 40 second use the cover, guys. Gentlemen, with this, this way, way this way, this way, to your west. Hold here, seventh. We're gonna be facing east. Hold here. We're facing east. Yo, that was, I can't. What was that Rambo doing? I don't know. What are you doing? HL got into a major fight here with 19th Indiana. Now 19th Indiana's actually been cut off by Knight in the KB. Oh, and they are they are cut off here. And look at this crossfire. Poor Lightburn's trying to get his men out of there. Oh, but here comes 40 seconds gonna try to charge into KB. Not really enough to make a difference. Hey, right, let's see, what's this next line of attack? Who is this? All right, Hood with the rest of his men here is going to slam into the MSG and Viking and possibly cap as he do does. In fact, I'd send a full attack right now. If I was a Union, you got a decent amount of combat power up here. And you might just get him onto break. There we go. This is where you do that full send now. Well, at least try to hold point. I think the timing is right. They just didn't have too much power. Here comes Parker. They're coming to the right. Everybody the box. Watch your right hand side. Get ready, round by two. The problem is the Union's almost on final push here. Uh, let's see who's coming up here. Here comes Willie Stone, the MWB, trying to get onto the flank here, the PB. Oh, uh, sneaky move here by Willie Stone against poor Bocephus. A well executed charge there. Although here we go on the final push. HL has pushed up. But it looks like Hood and Parker were not able to hold that bridgehead. You still got Paradox over here. And some remnants, but these guys are all going to just get cleared up here. And I think the Union is going to be too spread out here to hold this. But we'll see. Get 
your buck and ball, get your full kit out of Tennessee. Full kit, Keep your eyes open, South Tennessee, and stay together. They're coming up right now. See how much fire these guys were taking. Right, let's see. One minute 30. Joker's linked up with some guys on this flank here. He might be trying to do a clear operation through the woods. In time for Hood to uh, hit the main point here. Looks like 9th Corps and NYB and a lot of these elements are pretty much just to turn it down as we were talking. Here comes MWB though. Okay. Nice stone. Here comes the avenue from Joker. Guys on top, guys on top. Make sure you're capping. Here comes Hood trying to push him off. And Hood has given instruction to try to get in cover and hold him. And try to shoot it out, which I think is the right call here. Try to give enough time for reinforcements to come up. They're, they're still a ways away, but they need to try to help as best they can. CSA on the opposite side have to push them off. Oh, they're holding point though. 29 seconds remaining. The Union might have to push them off either way now. Oh, it's a spoiling attack. Here comes first VA with a spoiling attack against 9th Corps. That disrupts their attack. Now the Union goes in, only seven seconds remaining. I don't think it's enough time. It was not enough time. So a nice try by the Union, but just uh, couldn't quite do it at the end there. A very disciplined defense there by the CSA. Uh, but some very nice ideas by the Union as well. I think they lost, uh, failed to capitalize on a few opportunities. But they did a great job creating them, so. Good stuff on both sides.